What's up guys, EQVP back with another video. Now, earlier this month, I set off on a mission to find an electric go-kart, and let's say it was a little bit of a journey. All of this started out with my friend sending me a Facebook Marketplace link to an electric go-kart that was being sold by a guy that goes to UCLA College that started a project and was ready to sell it. My friend and I decided we're going to split the build and buy this go-kart because it already had a great motor and it was a great platform to start on. So my friend went and messaged him and, you know, tried to lowball him and ended up getting basically blocked. So it was my turn. Now it's my turn. But it was kind of hard for me to pick it up myself so i had to lie a little bit to get on the guy's good side i did have to glaze him a little bit and be overly nice and kind and eventually he bought the bait and was willing to sell me the go-kart so i sent my friend to ucla they met up i was on facetime and we got the go-kart. Flashback today, I have the go-kart behind me and I'm gonna walk you guys through it. And this is the go-kart that we are talking about. We spent $1,400 on this go-kart picking it up and I'm gonna walk you guys through what we have already. They gave us a few spares front and rear. It comes with a QS 138 mid-drive motor with a gear reduction. It has a far driver 72, 680 controller we should probably upgrade that to a different controller it has a carbon fiber see it's been through a little bit of hardship we have a chipped rotor but it still works for now this is the battery tray it did come with a 72 volt i think it was 20 amp hour battery it was made with bird battery cells so we aren't going to use that battery but this is the tray that's on it. It's pretty messed up. So we're gonna replace this, put our own battery on it. We're also going to move the display from down there onto the steering wheel. But before we do that, we're gonna replace that steering wheel because that's pretty, it looks pretty horrible to be honest. With the battery that this go-kart came with, it was able to do 5,000 watts of power. But with the new battery I have for this, we're gonna be able to do 14,000 watts. Now, I want to do even more than that so I can take it to the track. So we may have to build our own battery and go a little faster. So this is the battery I have for this go-kart. It's a 72 volt, 75 amp hour battery. Now this battery is out of one of my eShops bikes and it puts out 200 amps of continuous power. Now the end goal for this build will be to build our own battery. And what we have planned is a 108 volt battery that has 400 line amps of continuous power with a ND 108 1200 far driver controller. And that will give us around 43,000 watts of power. <gasps> That's pretty fast. So if anybody has any parts for go-karts or any insights into what we should do, parts we should add, um, I already know we have to replace that tray and we already have a new steering wheel coming in But if you have any other ideas like for example, I know we're gonna change how this throttle cable is routed and Some other stuff. We're gonna try to revise this motor mount So if you guys have any other things like a brake rotor, maybe some spare axles Spare tires that you don't mind selling hit me up and let me know down in the comments and if we're in the Los Angeles area, which is where I'm located, then I'm definitely going to be checking the comments to buy stuff from you guys.